Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What am I doing today? After carefully looking, I decided that I'm going to wait to talk about Space Air Star, and I'm instead going to be talking about the upcoming events in January. It's the new year, so thankfully, if you don't know, Fugo NA is two years behind on the JP version of the game, so we can typically look at what happened to them two years ago and see, hey, this is going to basically happen with us. There's usually some stuff that differentiates, like sometimes we get certain events out of order, but usually at the start of the year, it's a pretty good way to look at it and say like this is how we're going to be basically going so that's going to be today's video originally i was going to talk about space ishtar but then i realized that based off of the timeline of jp she probably won't be here until sometime in january 6th so i'll just wait and i'll talk about her then when she's closer by uh, but yeah, let's get over it. So we'll start January 1st. Obviously, the big thing is the New Year's campaign. This is where everyone's boy will be. Muramasa, he will be summonable here. We got a whole bunch of other cool stuff coming, like 30 Quartz, which is always good. Uh, some gold, two Golden Foes, a Holy Grail, a new CE, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, there's plenty of stuff here that I will end up talking about when we see what are the specifics, just to see if anything, NA does anything different. But assuming that they don't, assume new and returnee rewards will be updated and stuff like that the, the da vinci workshop will have like 10 um 10 summon tickets that you can buy there we go uh we'll have this ce but instead of it being because we usually it's really funny that in for na we get their 2021 ce but it's called 2023 for us so it gets slightly buffed and it gives two more qp i think it's really silly but it's something that they've been it's like the one big difference that's always happens it's really funny and yeah some kind of panel mission too but again we'll, i'll talk about that more when it's coming up close but that's something that you can look for at the beginning of the new year Saber Wars 2 will get a rerun there's a chance that we might get the Saber Wars 2 rerun a little bit early um I don't think so. There's some people who say we will get it early. You can feel free to tell me what you think. I think they'll stick to this because I think at the beginning of the year they'll want to keep that thing where they're like, well, we just want people to kind of play the game and then we don't want people to necessarily immediately have an event available to them because there's still other things that you need to do in the game. At least that's what I think. But yeah, so Saber Wars 2. The big thing here is that the rerun will have the summon campaign, which will feature Space Ishtar, which is a fantastic unit, still holds up to this day. Uh, the only unit that is comparable to her in terms of what she gets done, funny enough, is uh, Summer Kama, who is coming this year, and then Summer Ibuki, who comes next year, who's Summer Ibuki. Funny, there's a constant like back and forth of people talking about like who's best at doing damage and, and MP generation at the same time. And it's usually between Space Star and Space Comma. Not Space Comma. Summer Comma. And then ev eventually Summer Ibuki comes out and then that argument is shot dead because she does <laughs> she does both, which is really funny. Really looking forward to that unit, but that's still uh, two years away for us. But anyway... And then on summoning campaign too, you got Mysterious Heroine X and Yangu, or Yagu, Yagu. I don't know. Maybe it's Yagu. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this banner will feature them. A lot of people love Mysterious Heroine X, so make sure to make a mental note of it. It's very rough. This beginning at beginning of the year is very rough if you're a big Fate Stay Night fan, because basically you get Shiro on New Year's. And then six days later, you get Rin. And then a couple days later, you get Saber. <laughs> so they really hit all three at the beginning of the year. I think the only one that's missing is um, Sakura. But she comes up later with um, Kama. So eventually they will hit that uh, that sweet note of all Fate Stay Night girls. Well, except for Ryder, who's the big one missing. I guess Medea as well. But to be fair, Medea has been missing from getting new support since the beginning of time. Anyway, the Winter Caravan Online 2021 Broadcast Commemoration Campaign. We are not getting this, but we'll get some kind of equivalent here, which will allow us to get some sweet St. Quartz, many St. Quartz, and the announcement of our next event, which is Little Big Tengu. And then hopefully we'll also get the question or questionnaire of some kind. I don't think we'll be getting the Fake Grand Order Carnival Blu-ray and DVD released. I'm not sure about limited merchandising either. Like I said, there's a lot of things that are specific to like... We will get the CE quest though. There's a lot of things specific to like that version of the game where I'm just like, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting that or if we have gotten it already. Kind of one of those things. 
uh, questionnaire here for the six year anniversary. Just complete it, get four tickets. I think that's pretty easy. You know? Tell them that you play your favorite. Don't put in Dokkan. Uh, the other phone apps that are probably coming out, Seven Deadly Sins. This is always really funny of what they consider like, hey, we think other people might be playing this. Idol Master Cinderella, Girls Starlight Stage, uh, War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exivist, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. I wonder, was Dragalia ever on here? No, they never saw Dragalia's any. They, I think only the big boys and girls were allowed on this one, like Mafia City. And Lion Disney Sum Sum. <laughs> was Dokkan on this? No, they don't consider Dokkan any form of like... Like a... Oh no, no, here it is. Dragon Ball Legends and Dragon Ball C Dokkan Battle. Feel free to tell them if you play them. Like if you play. But yeah, they'll have a bunch of questions. Just fill them out. I don't have to go over every single question here. But <laughs> fill out the questionnaire the best you can. Give them whatever data they need. Sounds wrong. 2000 day anniversary. We already had this, baby. Oh, yeah. Got that 10 quarts. Let's go. Little Big Tengu is the other big event that's coming here in January, uh, which will feature a summon campaign, which will allow you to get um, Ushi Avenger, but her name is different. It's Tyra no Kageyo. And I think she is a single target quick. Yeah. Moves one enemy buff, deals damage to them, own Thirst for Vengeance stack. Single target, quick, yes, Ushi. Another example of an Ushi that... No, the, she, she doesn't have the Ushi thing where she actually is the reverse Ushi. If you don't know this, Ushi Wakamaru, which is the three star here, gains more clothes as she ascends. This has always been the case. Her stage one ascension, basically no clothes. And then as you go on, she just gets more clothes. And then alternate versions of her, such as the assassin version, wears just more clothes over time. Just more clothes. You can never deny her all the clothes. And I think her uh, Avenger version is different, where she starts with all the clothes, and then as time goes on, stage three, boom, all the clothes are gone. And yes, there you go. Big, poofy pants. I never noticed that on her. But anyway, she's definitely going to be the unit on here, and then we're going to get the very rare rate up of Cool Alter. I. Oh man, there was a time here where Cool Alter was just like one of the top dudes in the entire world. In the early days of Fago NA, Ku Alter was basically the insta win. It was him and Gene Alter, and I feel like we live in a society where that no longer is the case. And I think it's because they never buffed him in any way. Yeah, in the beginning of the game, this was crazy. A berserker that could increase his invasion for two attacks on a cooldown of five. And then he also had guts in case. He was a very hard man to kill. I don't see much about him anymore. I think the only buff he ever got was to this Noble Phantasm. Which is a pretty nice buff, but still probably not enough to square off with a lot of the other single target Berserkers that we have in the game. Still, kind of cool to see him here. It's not very every day I actually see him. He's actually fallen off the face of the earth, as far as I can tell. Mave is the exact opposite, where I feel like I've seen more Mave as the time goes on. But here you go. Yeah, so both of these will be featured up, rate up units on here as well. Though I don't think ever so- oh yeah, they do get solos eventually, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then anything else? Oh yes, of course. The free unit here will of course be Ushi's Master here, which is Kichi Hogan, who is a very good AoE um, looper for quick with Assassin. She's basically their way of saying, we're sorry that Assassin... Um, <laughs> we're sorry that Assassin Ushi was not the... AoE quick unit that you wanted. <laughs> Here's basically a free one. <laughs> it's their way of saying we're sorry. So there you go. In the Fago Memories uh, third release commemorative campaign. I don't know if we have this or we have not. We haven't gotten the C, so I'm going to assume we haven't. So we'll be getting this. Just something simple. It's an art book information stuff. There is a summoning campaign tied to it. I doubt we're getting this. Um... On it, you can get these other CEs, which are all, like, ra really weird rate up. I think these are, like, New Year's based. Like, weirdly, like, Valentine's Day, Caldea Boys Collection, New Year's Campaign 2019, like, all old ones. Christmas 2018, Christmas 2019, Halloween 2018, Saber Wars 2. Really weird mishmash, and then I think there's also a rate up. There's no rate up servants. Do not let the banner fool you. Thank you, the note. 
no reason to summon on this. This is basically just a glorified way of summoning for specific CEs. Therefore, skip it. Just don't even bother with it. Thank God I saw that note. Because I always get fooled when I see, like, this is a weird rate-up banner. Saber, Uriel, and fucking... The Persona 4 protagonist? I cannot remember his name at the moment. Um, but there you go. And then this mem memories will be exchangeable. The second one, not the third one. So there you go. We'll get that. And that's basically what January is looking like. It's actually a pretty stacked start of the year. Uh, two events is usually pretty solid, especially for Fago at this time. I will always have to bring it up during these kind of talking about for this year specifically is that this was the year where COVID was pretty bad. There was, yeah, it was like deep into that stuff. So a lot of these years come off as like, there's really nothing. There's like there's really nothing going on in some of these years. Some of these months, I should say. Like, oh yeah, three. Holy Grail War and then the rerun. And then that's basically it for you in May. For April, there's plenty to go through. But for the entire year, basically, it's all just like waiting for Lost Belt 6 to be released. But yeah, that's what we got for January. So plan accordingly. Look forward to some stuff. I'm looking forward to eventually getting to Little Big Tengu. And maybe be dusting off Scotty a little bit so I can use this new quick assassin. Um, and yeah, get back a little bit into it. So yeah. Thankfully for me, there's not a lot, a lot of things I'm going to be summoning for. Like, I don't think I'm going to be summoning for much of anything. I really like Ushi, but I don't know if I'm going to end up summoning a little big Tengu just because this year is crazy. Kind of have to make your bones about it. And I already have Mysterious Heroin X and I already have uh, Space Ishtar. If I didn't have Space Ishtar, I would definitely be summoning for Saber Wars 2 rerun. But thankfully, I do have her. I was able to get her on the first go around. So it's a pretty easy month for me. For everyone else, I wish you the best of luck, especially if you're going for Space Ishtar and Muramasa. It's not easy. So best of luck to you. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. Peace out.